What are the best states for off-grid living? What key aspect is most important to you? What should we think about when selecting a state to live off the grid? Is your favorite state on the list? What do you think is the very best state for off-grid living? How do we decide? Now, we probably should define what living off-grid means. For me, the most basic of definitions and probably the most widely accepted definition is living without relying on public utilities. Hey, that's pretty much it. And not that other definition of being completely disconnected from society. Nope. What does living off grid mean to you? Let me know. So how do we decide what's the best state to live off grid? A lot of best places to live off grid lists, they focus on the weather. Heck, I'd like to live in Hawaii for sure. The best weather ever but it's a pretty darn expensive state to live in and most of us folks just aren't gonna be able to swing it. So, cross Hawaii off of my list. Yes, weather is important, sun for solar, and a steady predictable wind too. Good weather means different things to different people. For a garden, a long growing season. But if you like fall and winter activities, you might want to be in some place with cooler weather. For me, I'm looking at things like low land prices, low property and other taxes, overall cost of living. We have to be able to afford to live there in the first place. Then things like the quality of the land, we want low crime rates and friendly off-grid laws and regulations. You might be interested in schools for home or homeschooling if you have young children. We want to be able to do our own thing. Okay, so what are the best states for off-grid living using this set of basic criteria? We crossed Hawaii off the list. Let's cross the other elephant in the room off the list too. Alaska, hey. Most of us just aren't going to be able to move there. Sure, it's a great off-grid state, but it's harsh out there. And what are the chances any of us can actually live that remote and that off the grid? Now we're down to the 48 states. If you like the northern part of the country, I'd say Montana, Maine, and Vermont are the three three <laughs> best options. These states have a lot of natural resources and of course you'll have to stay far away from the touristy areas because they're pricey. Montana, hey, it pretty much lets you do whatever you want, few restrictions, but it does lean a little bit toward the more expensive side of things. Maine and Vermont, up there in New England, have rather short growing seasons, especially when you get north and inland away from the expensive coastal areas. But they have plenty of all things one might need for off-grid living. Plenty of forest land out there for you to harvest your own firewood, for example, for heating your home with a wood stove, which is awesome. If you like the Northwest, you might consider Washington or Oregon. I'm not particularly fond of the mindset out there, civil liberties, and the regulations, lots of strict building codes and rules to pay attention to. They have great mild weather overall, so that might be a good off-grid option if you want to be in that area. You will be looking well inland away from the coast, the eastern parts of the states, for less populated and less strict living. Now keep in mind, sunshine like we're having right now is a rare resource out there, with many areas only getting 50 or 60 days of sunshine. In the middle of the country, which is the place I think is the best of all worlds, two awesome states for off-grid living, Missouri and Tennessee. Friendly to off-grid living, 
low taxes, few regulations regarding what you can do with your property, and awesome civil liberties. Pretty good growing season and plenty of natural resources too. The best of all worlds, if you ask me, pretty much everything. The only downside is making sure you're aware of and being prepared for things like tornadoes and flooding. In the south, in the states down south, like Arizona, that comes to mind, and Texas. My Texas friends would never forgive me if I didn't mention their state, Arizona and Texas. When you get away from the populated cities, there are very few regulations. Costs are favorable, which is great for us budget-minded folks. You are going to want to be careful to stay out of the really remote, rugged desert areas. There are few natural resources out there, and water in particular will be a huge challenge. You likely will have to be trucking it in. But boy, plenty of sunshine for solar. Hey, how will you stay cool out there? When you are looking for your forever self-sufficient off-grid home, do your research and carefully select the state where you want to live. This is a list of nine states, each a little bit different depending on what you want. What is most important to you? Is a garden important? Are chickens important? How do you want to spend your time? And how do you want to spend your money? If you have a friend that's always talking about off-grid living, please share this video with them. It's up to you to help a friend in need. Ask yourself, if I was to live off-grid, by whatever definition this means to you, will you be happy? What state offers the best overall awesomeness? It's all about you living self-sufficient, living your life dreams, living happy, living fun loving, and living carefree, living life doing it yourself off grid.